And he really wanted to have sex. This might be the worst one yet, I don't know. I think the patriarchy smashed me pretty good. I screamed. I need bits, I need bits. <laughs> I was 18 years old and I was on the cusp of losing my virginity. And the reason why I say the cusp <laughs> is because I just wasn't that asked about losing it. Um, to be honest, the only person that I fancied was Orlando Bloom as Legolas in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> But then I turned 18 and I was like, nah, I should probably do this. And I had, I'm not being funny, I had a lot of winning participants. And I met this guy, and so we went on a date, and eventually he walked me home. And he was like, oh, could I, could I come in? I was like, no, because I live with my very Nigerian Christian parents. <laughs> um, and he was like, I would like to have sex with you. And I was like, so does everybody else. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't think this is going to be the right time. But <laughs> we ended up behind a van. And, uh, and we were snogging, and he really wanted to have sex. But I was like, mm, this is not quite how I imagined it. And then I did that thing where you feel, like, beholden to a man and you've got to be pleasant. And so I thought, mm, what would be um, the next <laughs> best alternative to my vagina? So I decided to lift up my shirt and present to him my belly button. <laughs> And what was crazy was that he knew what to do, so he got his, um, <laughs> got his cock out and he proceeded to just push it into my no. belly button. And, so and, I was, and I remember looking down, seeing his willy going into my belly button, going, oh, I don't think I like this womanhood thing at all, because if this is what it's going to be like, um, I'm not in. No, was he. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't in. Really. He didn't even touch the sides. Anyway, so he did a few jabs, and then he looked at me really oh. sadly and went, it's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> I would have loved it if that was on the mystery guest round. <laughs> <laughs> um, sex with the belly button is yeah. probably, what, just navel-glazing? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. She's fine. I'm, oh, I'm she's fine. Here, Have good. you seen my belly button? No, but I'd like to now. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never said that to me, Joe. <laughs> <sighs> so this might be the worst one yet. I don't know. Uh, my my grandfather died aged 92, oh. and we're all there for the funeral. It's Irish family, so there's a wake. So the coffin is in the room with the lid off. Open casket. Open casket. <laughs> And at one point, I find myself in the room with my grandfather's body on my own. And I stood there looking at it for quite a long time, and then I thought, I wonder what it feels like <laughs> to touch. That's so sinister, the way you said that. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't sleep with your granddad, did you? I did. <laughs> Not after he died. <laughs> So I, I, um, I thought I, I just wanted to touch, touch him. So I put my finger on his cheek, and it sort of just stayed there for <laughs> quite a while because I, you know, lots of things are going through my mind. Yeah. After a while, I took my finger off, and I realised I'd been pushing harder than I'd oh. imagined, and there was a little sort of dent. <laughs> and I did try at one point when no one was there to sort of. <laughs> But then I thought I might make it worse. <laughs> like banging the dent out of a car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. No. But I, mean, I was young and I didn't, yeah. you know, and I just was. It's yeah. okay, isn't it? It's, <laughs> it's not really. No. <laughs> not really. I've, sort of, I've thought about it a lot since. Yeah, perhaps you should go on your show on Radio 4. And... That's a Woo! really good idea. Hashtag Impressive. confessional. <laughs> BBC Sounds. <laughs> I haven't wronged that many people. I try not to. It would be nice if you did have somebody to apologise to just for the format of the show. <laughs> um, well, my boyfriend yes, broke up yes. with me. We would have a big prom party and an after party and you would hire security guards for that because <laughs> you don't want the teenagers getting too inebriated yeah, and causing sure. trouble in the woods. I loved my boyfriend so much and he split up with me while I was wearing a tiara, which I didn't even think was allowed. <laughs> and prom is meant to be the best time of your life. Oh, prom sounds stressful. Oh, no. Prom I sounds awful. We never had proms in, in a... We had the proms, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> 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 it's the same 
same, but with different wind instruments. <laughs> So what happened? So when he dumped me on the dance floor at prom <gasps> during Lady in Red. What? No. I thought, yeah, I thought I'm not going through this again, this like torture and this heartbreak. And I looked around and there was the security guard yeah. and he was the biggest and oldest and most inappropriate person to get off with at the prom. <laughs> and I made out with him and that really upset my boyfriend because he had been drinking and he didn't remember breaking up with me. <gasps> So the next day, he just thought I decided to get off with the security guard to, for no reason. You smashed the patriarchy that night, I feel, Catherine Ryan. I think the patriarchy smashed me pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I think I would apologize to that boyfriend because that boyfriend is my husband now. <laughs> <laughs> and who's is the baby? <laughs> My brother, who is two years younger than, than me, and I used to share a bath, and he made me laugh a lot, my brother, and, and we'd make each other laugh. And as Johnny knows, when you laugh, sometimes you're not completely in control of everything. <laughs> anyway, this thing was suddenly appeared on top of the water in the bath, and I screamed and said, Andrew's pooed in the bath, he's pooed in the bath, he's pooed in the bath. He has denied it. That day and ever since, I was so convinced he did it, but the way in which he's continued to deny it nearly 45 <laughs> years later <laughs> makes me think maybe it was me. Can I ask you something, Baldus? Yes. This isn't Prince Andrew, is it? Oh, yeah, no, that's just my brother. You know, he is called Andrew. He's no, called Andrew, no, yeah, no. just checking. No, you know, it, it might be that, that Prince Andrew's guilty, but my brother almost certainly wasn't. <laughs> Who got the blame? Well, he did, cos I said it was him. <laughs> Quite, quite convincingly. In fact, I've always said it was him until now. I think in your heart you know you did it, Claire. Claire, you've always known that you've done it. That's the thing, Baldus. I'm sorry. You've always known. She's always known. Hasn't she, Lou? It has bothered me so much. It was the worst thing I could admit to, but it's not a patch on what, what Johnny does for fun. <laughs> But, Claire, we can't live our lives in comparison <laughs> to Johnny Bay. <laughs> I was on a bus in Turkey, and we'd been out for dinner the night before, and uh, my boyfriend at the time, he'd had terrible diarrhoea all night, and I was so smug. I was like, look at him. Like, we ate exactly the same thing, and he's so sick. I'm fine. Anyway, we get to the bus station... Oh ..for this, like, six- or seven-hour bus thing. We get on the bus, and literally the doors go... For our seven-hour bus ride, and I'm like, oh no, oh no, oh, no, no, oh. no, no, and I remember holding on to the seat in front, just like the sweating like that, and just going, I'm in bits, I'm in bits, I'm in bits, and then finally, I just couldn't hold oh, no. it anymore. What can you do? And so I shat myself on this bus in Turkey, <laughs> and then the bus stopped and the door opened, and I got up. <laughs> No. Nope. And everyone in the bus, because we were the only European, they all talked about, no, 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 sit, 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 this isn't the stop. And I sat down. <laughs> oh! And I'm now thinking, oh, no, can they smell it now? Because actually it was quite oh, contained God. after this. <laughs> and then I look in the floor oh, of no. the, oh, the no. bus and there's just a little drop of shit. Oh, and I'm no. looking at it and, and as I come up, I meet the eye of the person on the other side oh, of the eye. Yes. Who's also looking at the shit. I, yeah. So maybe, I don't know, is, that, is the bus driver in there? Yeah. <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted after that. 